Hello and welcome back. In this tutorial, we are going to be implementing the update operation. So, we are going to be using the same form that we use in the create operation. When the user clicks on any of these update buttons, the corresponding data will be pre-populated in the form so that we can then edit it and submit it. So, to begin, I'll open up the list component.html file here, this one. And add here a click event. So I'm just going to call this method do update. And in this method, we should pass the country that we want to update. So country. Next, I'll just go ahead and implement this method. So I'll copy this. And back in the list component the TS file, this one here, I'll implement that method. So I'll paste it here. And we also need inside here the router. So import router. This should be from Angular router. This one. So all we need to do is to set this country to the country object in the create update uh, component. And in order to do that, I'll just use the setter class we created in the service. So country service dot setter, and then we'll pass in this country. And after doing this, we navigate to the create update so I need to start by injecting the router here as a dependency before we can use it so here I can then just go ahead and type this the router dot navigate and we are navigating to the create update route now save this so back in the browser here if i were to click on any of these update buttons the form will be pre-populated with this data so let's try this out if i click on this you see the form input fees are pre-populated with this data now let's go ahead and modify the method that handles the form submit so that it will also handle the update operation. So in the create update component.ts file, I will add the following to this create o update method. This is the method that handles the form submit. So I will check if the ID of the country that was submitted is undefined. If it is undefined, then we know we are creating a new country. If not, then we are doing an update operation. You can maybe go ahead and add more functionality to this. So I'll do this dot country dot id. If this is undefined, then that means we are creating a new country. So I'll just wrap this here around curly braces. If not, so I'll add here else then we are surely updating so i'll basically just go ahead and copy this one here and paste it here then i'll change this method to update country and the rest will basically remain the same i'll save that so let's test this out. I will try to update USA. So if I click here, the capital should be Washington DC. If I submit that, you see the update operation is working. So also before moving to the next tutorial, we can take a look in the MongoDB database and see how it looks like, whether we have the same thing that we have here. So I'll open up my console here. Let me open up a new console. I 
and I'll type here Mongo. And here, if I do show DBS, you'll see we have this database, min DB. So I can use that. So if I type here, use min DB. And type here, show collections. You see we have the country's collections. So we can list this collection and see what we have inside there. So DB that countries that fine. Then I can add a pretty so that the result is printed well in the console. And as you can see, we have the following objects or in other words, documents in MongoDB. This is the same thing that we have in the front end. So in the next tutorial, we're going to implement the delete operation. Until then, see you.